What's up guys? It's Spatula here and today we are in The Sims 4 doing a build challenge. So today I'm going to attempt to do the Every Room is a Different Color build challenge. This is uh, the shell that I built for this. It's just like a pretty basic kind of small home. It's going to have two bedrooms and then an office, a bathroom, and then the first floor I think living room and then kitchen, dining, and another bathroom, maybe a laundry room. There is a website, this one right here, it's called randomcolor.com. And so every time you refresh it, you just get a random color. So we're going to start, um, I think we're going to start with the outside because then we'll be able to know where all the windows are before we furnish the rooms. So yeah. Wow, we are starting off great with lime green outside. Okay, let's start with uh, roof texture. Is there green? Actually, that one's... Oh, wow, that's brighter than I thought it was going to be. Holy crap, okay. I think that might be a good roof texture, maybe. What about roof trim? Yeah, they have that in green too. They have some like lighter greens. That's some fun contrast. <laughs> right? Right? Wow, this is already just looking great. We could also match it and kind of have it blend in a little bit. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, what windows do we have? Oh, the ones from Cats and Dogs are really bright. These might be good, actually. Yeah, let's go with these ones. Oh, wow, this is looking fabulous I have to say I love these bright windows they're really bringing in the whole lime thing let's go with that one because I feel like that's probably t too big for the space and then we can do wallpaper oh gosh there's this color it's not quite lime otherwise there's this this is more lime maybe but it also does not match at all with the other green yeah that's beautiful I love it. All right, let's get some flooring. They do have some wood tones. Yeah, let's go with this one. I think that looks the best, which is not saying much. <laughs> All right, let's add some columns. That might make it look a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not good, but it's it's something. All right, let's do some landscaping. Oh, I don't think there's any like paths that are green. Okay, it's not under the green tab, but like that's definitely green, right? We can have that. It's it's mostly grass, so like it's green, so it's fine. At least landscaping will be very easy because trees are green. Let's do a nice tree there, cover it up a little bit. So we don't have to look at the ugly house. Lovely. I love it. It looks so good. Look at that. So nice. All right. We'll do some backyard stuff too. Oh, the perfect patio stuff. That has a nice green swatch. And it's lime. So it's it, it matches super well with the color that we got. I love that. I love this little girl from toddler stuff. It's so cute. I think it's pretty good. All right. Let's move on into this is like a hallway and I'm gonna have the living room be in here. Ooh, we got purple. That's kind of a fun color. We could do a lot with this. We have this really fancy carpet and that's really actually close to the color that we got. That might be nice for like a living room. Actually that door works really well. I think that's a nice color. Uh there's not an entryway. So I guess we can just have a door into the the kitchen. It's kind of weird to have like as an interior door. I guess it works. I think I'll go with the nifty knitting couch because I think it's the cutest. Why is this under purple? Because it because of the doors? I don't know if that counts but we can get a penguin TV. I guess we could just go with that one maybe. We could add some skill building activities maybe. What do we have in here? We could add the knitting basket. How about a keyboard? That could fit maybe over by the window. That could be kind of cute. Oh, they have one of these in purple. I love these little trays with like the candles and stuff. They're so cute. Maybe like a bookshelf would be good. Okay, can we get a railing? No, okay. Looks like the kids are falling down the stairs. So that's super fun. Uh, I think this living room 
looks pretty good. I'm gonna add a painting on the wall maybe just to add a little bit of artwork in. Here we go, the living room. I love it. All right, let's move on to the kitchen. Oh, red, kind of, is that orange or red? Hmm, I'm gonna say it's red. Okay, we'll use this kitchen stuff. Is there a matching stove or fridge? We can use this one maybe, because then we can get the matching stove with it. Do they have these shelves? Maybe we can mix and match some of those. That's kind of cute. We should add flooring. I usually like to do tile in the kitchen. That's horrible. That's terrifying. Oh my gosh, they're so red. This one's a little more muted. That might be good. Kind of like that. That is horrible. That is maybe less horrible, but maybe worse. I can't tell, honestly. That's not so bad. It's just kind of plain though. I don't know. I like the texture of this one. It's kind of fun. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little island. Look how cute that is. I love it. I'll just get some more decor in the kitchen so it doesn't look quite so empty. Okay, last we need a light. I guess that's, that's fine. Yeah, all right, let's move on to the dining room. Ooh, we have yellow this time. Kind of a soft baby yellow. I kind of like it. Okay. Okay, I know there's definitely some wallpaper in that color because I use it all the time for like nurseries and stuff because I love that kind of light yellowy color. So with that, I feel like that's pretty close to the color. Let's see what flooring we have. Um, we could do tile, which is a little weird in the dining room. Or we could do carpet, which I feel like is less weird in a dining room. I don't know. I have never seen this one in my life. I never use this dining table. Maybe I should. That's kind of fun. Oh, that one's kind of nice too. I don't know. I feel like this one has a good color to it, but it's a little bit much. So this one's a little bit simpler and it still is like got all the yellowy tones to it. Does it have like matching chairs though? Oh, it does. They're like folding chairs. This is definitely an outdoor set and <laughs> not really for a dining room. Hmm. A little weird. Not gonna lie. I feel like normally I'd put a carpet under it too, but or like a rug, but we have carpet already. This is one of my favorite paintings in the game. I love it. We're just gonna stick with it. Okay. Now we can put something on the table like that. Alright, let's just stick a light in here and be done with it. This room is ugly. I don't like it. I like yellow, kind of, but I feel like this yellow dining room is not it. Oh, I like this light a lot. That is not centered. There we go. Okay. It looks okay. Not my favorite room. Well, considering all the other rooms, maybe it is my favorite room. Yikes. <laughs> okay, moving on to the laundry room. Ooh. We got this kind of dark pinky dark pink what is that called we'll go with dark pink i don't know all right what floor options do we have none of these are the color that i want is that more of a purple honestly i don't know what color this is kind of close like that's kind of a dark pink i kind of yeah that kind of works this might be difficult to get the right colors down oh that kind of works that's yeah, I think that's the right color. Okay, let's see where the laundry. I can never find where the laundry is. I always forget. Like, why is it in this obscure tab? I feel like it should be with like the bathroom stuff or something. We'll go with the light pink washer and dryer maybe. And then we'll add a sink and a toilet. Yeah, I feel like that matches the vibe. Do we have a properly colored toilet? We just want like kind of light pink toilets. I guess that works. All right, let's take a mirror in here. Is that, what color is that? Is that pink? I think it's like a light pink. Oh, it's kind of pretty. Okay, and then maybe a rug. That's like the perfect color, okay. We do have the pink mini lights, so I'm just gonna put that in there because those are nice to just light up the space. And I think that's a lovely little pinkish maroon, maybe, bathroom. Whatever color that is. Close enough. Okay. 
now we have the upstairs hallway Ooh, a nice blue color that's pretty so try and go for one of these like light blues that one's kind of nice that's lovely okay and then flooring maybe this wood tone that's actually like pretty close that's kind of nice and this one's a little more interesting no i think that's kind of nice okay then we'll add a little fence so you don't fall to your death because even though there's no railing on the stairs we should at least add one at the top of the stairs all right and then we need doors into every room honestly i kind of like the stranger villa ones they are a nice blue color maybe a little fancy for like interior but it works uh there's not a ton of room for like anything else maybe we could add a little like bench or a little couch or something or maybe one of those like poofs things where is it here we go one of these things that's kind of cute doesn't really have a purpose but it works all right if we had curtains maybe that might be good to add a little bit extra and then probably like a painting or something right there those are nice blue i think we can add though perfect all right and then just a little artwork or something on the wall we could do a couple of these paintings perfect i think that is a lovely little hallway okay let's do this bathroom next oh my goodness that is a color okay we have bright purple very bright okay let's see i think it's more like that color or very purple how about just shiny <laughs> i mean it is a bathroom so we kind of need tile it's already terrifying i hate this so much okay oh we can get a toddler potty i guess that's the only sink oh no oh oh there's no shower they don't get a shower um well that's really unfortunate for them i guess Th they get a toddler potty and a sink in their upstairs bathroom i mean at least the toddler's room is upstairs so it's just very convenient for the toddler uh we can get this really ugly mirror and maybe some fun decor items we can get some towels to make fun of them and be like ha 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 you have towels but y you can't use them because you don't have a shower how about a nice little bathroom shelving unit for all of the bathroom things that they don't have and don't need because they can't do anything in this bathroom that's great okay <laughs> let's get some curtains because obviously the toddler needs privacy while they're doing their business maybe just like the blackout curtains <laughs> You know what? Why not? This room is already strange enough. I think those work perfectly. They're not quite the right shade of purple, but I think they're close enough. And they light it up a little bit more, so that's good. We can see if we can actually get a light in here. That's great. I love it. Toddler gets a little party while they're on the potty. Um, yeah, I think that's my favorite room so far. It's really pretty, really great honestly kind of stunning and i is super functional too you know what might as well just go full out and just do the unicorn rug it's already purple it's already hideous it's perfect all right for the office we have this kind of light pink color all right let's see what kind of pink things we have this is more of a light pink so we have this carpet in here uh maybe this one so it's a little less ugly and then that's lovely i really enjoy that a lot okay and then we can get a desk in here does that match i think so all right do they have they do have a pink computer so that's good what kind of skill building items you could get a violin is that pink i thought that was white hmm. and they also have this guitar so maybe we have a musician. All right, let's get a little desk lamp. Very cute. And some cupcakes. 
on the wall for good measure. This is like my dream when I was like eight. Because I had green walls when I was eight and I wanted them to be pink so bad. But my mom was like, no, pink walls. You're not going to want them in like 10 years. Uh, and then I, when I turned 16 or 17 maybe, um, we painted my walls pink finally. And now I'm in college and like don't even spend time in my room ever because I live in a dorm now. And, like, next year I'm getting an apartment, so I am, like, literally moving out, so I only had the pink for, like, two years, but it's fine. It's a cute office. I like it, honestly. Kind of a dream office. Kind of love it. Okay, next we can do the toddler bedroom. Okay, looks like the toddler is getting kind of a mustardy yellow, so not, like, the dining room, which was much more of a light yellow this is a mustard and i think those floors are perfect <laughs> and this wallpaper honestly it's great it looks like pea and that's what we're going for not my pea my pea is much clearer than this it, it looks like nasty pea from when you haven't had water in like six years okay let's get some curtains in here love that all right this is hideous <laughs> yellow is not my favorite color I don't mind like a lighter yellow but this yellow is so ugly like sorry if that's your favorite color but it, it shouldn't be and you need to change your mind right now uh, we don't really need a taller potty I guess because we have one in the bathroom <laughs> we can get them their own personal pool how about all these yellow toys? Let's get him a yellow rug. It, no, I'm not that mean. Um, let's say this one's kind of cute. Okay. We'll put that one right there, and then we'll put all of the yellow toys on it. Alright, oh, we can get one of these little clocks on the walls. I never put clocks in my Sims builds. I don't know why. I always just kind of forget they're there. So, we'll do that. And we'll get this bookshelf in here. Actually, maybe the other one's better. That's more yellow. Some happy sunflowers staring down at them while they sleep. Look at that. Such a cute little nursery. Honestly, I would probably vomit if I walked into this room. It's very bright. But I'm sure some child out there would love it a lot. So, you know, kids make their favorite color their entire personality sometimes. And maybe this kid's entire personality is yellow. We'll do some fun lanterns. That's kind of cute. Love it. Alright. The last room. We have the parents' room. The parents' room is brown. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a neutral color. So we can get some, like, wood tones and stuff. But it's brown after after every, th every other room. Like, the final one is just brown. Like, <laughs> wow. Alright. Well get the most brown boring brown bed that they have that's that's very brown oh, wait there's this one from seasons i actually really like that bed. i think it's kind of cute i mean i guess everything could be wood which is kind of nice but like having the walls be brown <laughs> makes this room feel so tiny wow look at these curtains they're look like something some old lady would put in her house not gonna lie. Sorry, old ladies of the world, but these curtains are not it. Can we fit a dresser in here? Look at this nice brown dresser. It's beautiful. Oh, I love this painting. It's so funny with the dogs and everything. And it's very brown, so it works with this room. And we can get some random picture of some guy and his dog, you know? Maybe it's whoever owns this house. Right. And a brown ceiling light. Let's see what we got. Honestly, not bad options. Alright. <laughs> I think this house, this horrible, ugly house is all complete. Um, We've got a lot of different colors going on in here. And honestly, I, it's it's kind of ugly, but it's kind of fun too. Like, I enjoy it. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for new videos. And you can follow me on Instagram. 
at Spatula Games and on the gallery you can find this if you want it for some reason on the gallery. I don't know why you would, but hey, you know, everyone has their tastes. I just don't think this is anyone's, but maybe, maybe. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!